Hi, honey. What you doing? Where's your goat? The fence has been up for a little while. The goats have really, really been loving it. But we haven't done a fence line walk yet and we need to make sure we're doing this periodically to make sure that the fence isn't compromised in any way because that could be pretty sad. Grass is taller than that. You can barely see them. <laughs> Look, at that. Look. <laughs> Look at grass level. You can't even really see them. Our neighbors actually have a really nice hay field next door and most of our field really isn't great quality except for what's down here. He told us that most of this, aside from what's obviously scrub, looks like orchard grass. It's been four weeks since you called and I've been waiting here for you all along. I've been waiting here for you all along. Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for. Wonder if you found what you're looking for. I hope it's not too late. I want you back here with me. We never should have said it's better this way. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me, say that you won't go I can't cope without you and I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't go These could be goat prints, but they could also be deer prints. This fence over here, it's only four feet high and deer really, in order to keep deer out, they need a seven foot high fence. And we don't have that, but that's okay. I have heard of deer passing on a type of worm to goats and other ruminants through their feces if they kind of run the same areas. And that is a risk that we have here, but it sounds like it's something that's easily treated with the things that we already use as dewormers. Where are we, Mars? Hi, good boy. It's been so cold without you here. Barely say goodbye before you disappear. It's been so cold without you. I'm not gonna lie, don't know what I do without you. Maybe we could try, try to figure out a way to put our past aside. I've realized I only want you. I hope it's not too late. I want you back here with me We never should have said It's better this way Look at them! <laughs> they made it! <laughs> They're so cute! <laughs> they look so happy! As I see them in a group running, I feel like I have a lot of ghosts. <laughs> it's, um... 
I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me, say that you won't go I can't cope without you and I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't go Say that you won't go Say that you won't go, that you won't I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me, say that you won't go I can't cope without you of them ran back home the way we came but we still have a few with us we're down here checking out the fence we want to make sure that it doesn't look like any of the t-posts are really bent or stressed in any way there's not any holes that look like something is trying to dig in or out of the fence we want to make sure there's no tree limbs or branches or full-on trees laying on the fence and at first look first glance everything seems okay I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You say. I just want you, I just need you, I don't know what it is you do. Hello. This thing down here behind the dog is a crawdad mound, but like a little crustacean with little pincer claws, they dig right down to the water table. You're a good boy. You are. So with all of this extra green forage, I have been making sure that I'm keeping a full container of baking soda, free choice available to them inside the barn. 
The baking soda helps them keep their rumen pH balanced and it helps prevent bloat. The goats, as they chew their cud, also will create a substance in their saliva that balances their pH as well. But just to make double sure that they have everything they need, just in case they get a little bit too much green all at once, having free choice baking soda is really, really great for that. <laughs> I got rained out from doing my chores earlier and I need to make sure that my pigs have fresh water and a top off of their wallow. Pigs actually don't sweat and so the way that they keep cool on hot days like this is to keep their skin wet and that evaporative cooling helps keep their core body temperature where it should be. Levi's actually working on a system to give the pigs some more shade in here, but he's going to be working on it at night. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to film it. And he's doing that because I have a honeybee colony right over there that faces this pig area. And when he's pounding in T posts and making a lot of banging noises, it's going to irritate the bees and they're a lot less likely to come out and investigate when it's dark out. I will note too that in general, it's not safe to enter a pig pen by yourself. We keep Cooney Cooney pigs here, and one of the reasons that we keep them is they are known to be really, really gentle, but I still shouldn't put all of my trust in Bobo. I've had him since he was really little, and I feel like I know him, but I still need to make sure that I'm keeping an eye on him because pigs are strong, they can knock you over, and it can be bad news from there. Right, but you're a good boy. Really, I feel like all he wants is a back scratch. So as I'm filling up his wallow and his water, this is what I do every day. <laughs> what a spoiled bow. I am wearing my beekeeping veil in this area because I have been approached by an angry honeybee in this exact location before. If you wanna hear more about that saga, I'll go ahead and link this video up here. It explains all of it. Your wallow is almost full. It is.